Welcome to the demo for the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 uh, mobile workflow app. Uh, we've built a iOS app uh, to handle workflows, uh, workflow approvals for any approval in Dynamics AX 2012. Um, if we look at Dynamics AX 2012, there are many different um, workflows uh, available. Um, purchase order, purchase order requisition, timesheet, and expense. So we've built a framework that uh, any approval uh, can be surfaced to the mobile device, uh, standard approvals, standard workflows, custom approvals, and custom workflows. So the demo I'm gonna give you today is the purchase order requisition approval. So let's get started and let's see how it works. So I'm gonna just move my window so you can see. So I'm gonna uh, submit a purchase order requisition and see how that looks in a mobile device. So I'm gonna go in, enter a purchase order requisition, give that a requisition, <clears throat> and I'm going to purchase some information. I'm gonna purchase a, a keyboard, and I'm gonna purchase a mouse. Save that information. Uh, the document handling, I'm just gonna attach some notes. This is high priority, excuse my spelling. And I'm gonna enter a few attachments as well. So I'm gonna enter a PDF document and I will enter a image. So I've entered a purchase order requisition and I'm gonna submit this. And I'm gonna submit this using the standard to be done today. I'm gonna to submit this using the standard Dynamics AX 2012 approval. So what's gonna happen now as the standard Dynamics AX um, workflow engine is going to come in and it's going to assign this. So this approval here, I've just set this for uh, multiple approvers. So the Dynamics AX uh, periodic batch server will run. Uh, it runs every minute, and this will uh, look at this information here and send this. Once this is decided who it's going to go to, I actually should I will get a push notification on the mobile device. So what we have to do now is we just have to wait for uh, workflow to kick in every minute this will kick in and it will send that information so let's just wait a few more seconds and this will come in and should come up there. right we can see on the mobile device i have now received a push notification so the push notification on my device there told me about the purchase order that I've got to go in and approve. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Touch ID and I'm going to log in and look at this. So we support multiple uh, approvals on the mobile device. So let's go and see what we've got. So I've got purchase order requisitions, I've got some purchase orders, I've got some expenses. But we can see I've just sent a purchase order requisition for approval. So I can see these are the ones I've got and this is the one I've just submitted right now. So I can see from here the details. So I can see uh, information about this. So I can see static information about the requisition, but I can also uh, look at dynamic information. So you can configure this section. If you have a display method or a field that you want to show on the mobile device, you can see that information on here. Um, so I can see, yep, there's two lines, there's the mouse, there's the keyboard, looks good. Um, I can see the history, so I can see who submitted this and when, when, that looks good. I can see any attachments, these are the three attachments. I can see the note I attached, I can also see the PDF attachment. So this is going to download the attachment real time, I can zoom, see an information, and I also added an image as well. I can also see a report. So if you have a purchase order requisition report in Dynamics AX, um, you can actually, this screen here will run that SSRS report in Dynamics AX 2012. 
print that off as a PDF document, download that PDF document to the mobile device. So what you're seeing here now is the SSRS report are actually running in real time. Uh, if you don't run that for a while, it will take a little bit of time to warm up. Um, but um, give that a few more seconds, and that will actually uh, warm up the SSRS report and print that off. And we have the SSRS report running. So this is a real-time Dynamics AX 2012 SSRS report that's running. I can pinch, I can zoom, I can take a look. If you have your own report, you can surface this. If you want other reports, we can have multiple reports here as well. I can also see who this is assigned to. In this case, we've assigned it to multiple people. So I have the actions, approve, reject, request change, and delegate. And those, inf those uh, the information that you see there is available on the actual approval itself. So I have these quick links to the history, to whoever submitted it, to the dynamic information that's configurable, uh, to any notes, as well as to running the report itself. So I'm gonna look into this. Uh, looks good. I'm gonna go into the information. Yes, the price looks good. I approve everything. So I'm gonna choose approve. Um, I can enter a comment, okay? And this uh, approval is gonna require me to sign it. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna add my signature. Click OK, click Approve, and Approve that. So that workflow is now approved in Dynamics AX 2012. If we go to AX, we can actually see this information. So if I go back into AX now, I can see the approval log. Uh, I can see today I approved it. It was OK. There's the information. If I go back to the uh, purchase order requisition, uh, the workflow will kick in, and I will actually see that same information in the history. I will actually be able to see the work item, see that's been completed, it's been completed, it's been approved, and there's the there's the note that I, and the comment that I typed in directly in the mobile device. So the mobile uh, approval app supports biometrics, face ID, and touch ID. It supports any standard or any custom workflow. Um, it approves signature approval. It captures that approval uh, signature and can store it in AX. Um, it supports custom fields, display methods, and standard or custom reports, and it will surface that information on the mobile device itself. It's configurable, and it can be tailored to uh, any workflow um, and any workflow process in Dynamics AX.